welcome back. Thought I'd be a lot further along by now, but I was trying to work on the leading edge flap servo, but everything I keep doing runs into a roadblock. Um, I hate to be negative, but um, there's some stuff that was wrong. It's causing some issues. So that was the thing I started with because that that the uh, leading edge flap moved a lot easier and um, so that's what I was going to start with but so on the leading edge there is there's a rod here there's a bell crank like an L-shaped bell crank and the rod goes forward there continues on down straight rod to another bell crank with another rod that goes there so those two uh, rods have clevises on the end which connect to two carbon fiber um, control horns glued into the leading edge flap. So the servo connects there and when it goes in and out it pushes this way which opens and closes the flap. So what I ran into with this one I got that inner inner one on because I mean it's it's very little room you're trying to get it get the clevis on thank God this actually is very handy little BVM tool and then getting a little metal clip on is another story so I did that one no problem going good got to the look down here and there's no rod with a clevis on it and it's like there's no room so uh, I kept bending bending trying to get it you know opened up enough where you could you know kind of see in there well the ball the ball end or the rod end is there there's just no rod with a clevis so and you could see where they tried to fix it because the little hinge or flap gap piece that's like a plastic curved piece that when you open when that flap comes down a little bit it exposes the top and you can see the white little piece that they put in there well you can see where they had pushed it up trying to get in there and it just wasn't happening so on them for that so Waiting to get the length for the three millimeter rod to cut and try to get in there to fix that. And then, so I switched over to this wing. And this is the wing that has the really stiff uh, flap, leading edge flap hinge line. Um, they just put too much resin in there and didn't lay it upright like you should. And it is just tearing the thing up, trying to flex it. So I'm flexing it, trying to get it open, you know, working where it doesn't you know where it will actually function and you know it's just cracking paint left and right so which is another negative so I'm getting frustrated and I think I'm about to stop for now um, I would like to get the servos in so I may just go ahead and mount the servos and worry with connecting the rods later because it is New Year's Eve trying not to be so negative Nancy um, but it's just aggravating and it's just it's just aggravating and it's supposed to be a nice nice easy way out of the year I don't want to go out the same way it seems like most of the year has been but uh, so I think I'll go ahead and put the servos in and because I can't go connecting those rods on this end because that's the one that used to get connected first so connect the outside rod first because it, it has way um, it you know when you click connect that one it restricts this one and this one has more gap on it so if you connect this one first you can't flex that one enough to to get in there and put the clevis on so put the outside in on first followed by the inside um, the other thing I ran into is they're supplied the little L brackets uh, are just wrong size um, they the holes are too skinny on both sides this is for a micro size servo and if you look this is well, that doesn't really represent it but so you can kind of see them a little bit you know two different size so this is I had some extra L brackets actually from a crash jet and this is what they send me um, just like last, I'll have to, you have to you'll have to drill out these little holes. If they do send you brackets that are actually the right length, um, you will have to drill out the holes to get the screws that they provide in there, which no big deal. That that was 
these are ta uh, tapped for like a three millimeter screw so these are the same these are tapped for three millimeters or threaded for three millimeters so uh, you'll have to drill out one side to run the screws into the wood um, if you have right size brackets with yours but I'm not going to use theirs because they're too small so uh, luckily like I said I got some of these not a big deal not a stopping point but just another another bad uh, running into running into a lot of gotchas on this this kit um, already so Anyways, uh, I'm going to do that and take some more pictures and I may just call it for the evening. Go drink. Drink and be merry. So, I'll talk to you guys later.